What's up guys, Hanging Up With The Fourth here, back with another video. And today I'm here to show you guys how to get rid of startup programs that are just called program or ones that have no name that are in your startup menu in the task manager. I'm gonna give you a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get rid of these programs and also to know exactly which one it was if you deleted a lot of programs at once. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So if you don't know how to get to your startup programs or how to get to this menu, um, it's in the task manager. You can either type it in here, task manager, or you can control delete. I think it's also in there, control delete task manager. And uh, you wanna go from there. Once you have the task manager open, go to startup tab. And this is where you'll see all of your startup things. If you've never seen this menu before, I highly recommend you go through here and select the things you want when you start up your computer. Um, but you'll, you probably came to this video because you've seen this and you saw that there was a program called program and you didn't know what it was and you didn't know how to get rid of it. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So what you want to do is go ahead and open up your system information screen and you can get to that by going to the search box, typing in system information. It'll be right there and you'll get a screen that looks like this. Uh, you'll just have like the columns over here on the left. You'll see system summary and then three subsections. It'll be um, hardware resources, components and software environment. You want to go to software environment and then under that you want to go to startup programs. And this is where you'll see all of your startup programs. And the one you want to look for is the one that doesn't have a name or it's like a net dot this or something dot this is not like an actual name or you can just match it to the ones that are on your page. So if you look at my screen, you'll be able to see that I have um, Adobe Reader Synchronizer, which matches to Adobe uh, Collaboration, Logitech Download Assistant, which is Logitech Download Assistant, Security Health, which is Windows Security Notifications, and Steam is Steam. So the one that does not match up would be Molvad VPN, which is an app that I had on my computer and I deleted. So I, I recognize it. You would be able to recognize the one you deleted. And to get rid of it, all you have to do is go to this location right here in the registry. So you want to keep this open and you would go back to your search box type in registry editor and my screen went black it's just uh i had to set the confirmation let's get this out of the way now that we know what it is and you want to basically follow this path so uh hku uh which is hq users um i'm gonna go to s1521 we'll just use the last that uh, would be you have to you might have to drag this out to get the whole thing it'll be this one right here and then software and then Microsoft, which would be right here. And then you got Windows. So we got to scroll down, got the Windows. And current version, we got Run as the next one. Click on that and you see it right there. We got Adobe Reader Synchronizer, we got Steam, and we got Movad. You want to get rid of it, right click, delete, yes. And when you close this out, go back to system information go back to software, go back to startup programs. It will not be there. And when you close and open your to actually, you don't even have to close it. It's gone already. So <laughs> that is how you successfully get rid of any startup programs that are just called program or have no name in your task manager. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. I tried to keep it as slim as possible. If you enjoy more content like this, check out, I have some more tutorials on my channel. If you have any other problems with windows, stuff like that. I also do gaming content and all types of stuff. So if you want to, you know what I'm saying, stay tuned to my channel and updates, hit that subscribe button. And if I helped you out, if I truly helped you out, you got some enjoyment, got some value out of this video, be sure to hit that like button. I'd surely appreciate the support. And without, with that being said, I'm Henry the 12 and I'll catch you guys later, man. Peace.